Young Floyd Mayweather, 24 years of age, a record of 15 and 1, 8 KOs, waiting. Olympic champion of the world, undefeated in the pro ranks, Sugar Ray Leonard. Hugely popular. He'll be back with Ali in New Orleans early tomorrow morning. The ring is tiny. They say 17 feet, I measured it, and it's slightly less. Bunzel Johnson and Greg Covers. Definitely both fighters wearing white trunks. Sugar Ray Trump, the red stripes. No really effective blow score. The three Tabor telling them to have Joe the. Sugar Ray in there with a good combination. Ray in the white trunks, no stripes. Made up of the white trunks, good stripes. Out in the midsection. First time he did it successfully, not the second time. So far, there's been no opportunity for the familiar. Lynette's through the use of the body blows that Dundee told him to throw. Now we're seeing more of Leonard amateurishly left himself open after missing, but he scored with a good right there. And he hurt Mayweather just a little. We're alive, Sugar Ray Leonard, white trunks, no stripes. Floyd Mayweather, white trunks and stripes. Mayweather, you see him there. Leonard in effect in a rope of dope. Leonard's left eye. Got him with a good right in that. Leonard now in pursuit of Mayweather. See him go to the belly and then up to the head. Ropes are a bad place to be. Leonard not likely to foul, not at age 22. Mayweather in a little bit of trouble there. Not as much seem to think as they rise to their feet. Good right lead by Leonard. Scored heavily. Now Mayweather stunned. Now he's a sitting duck. And then the left. Mayweather absorbing punishment this round. Mayweather returns to his type of rope a dope. And so Leonard cleans up on him, scored with a left and right combination. Now Mayweather is in real trouble, just covering the head, hoping that Leonard perhaps will punch himself out. About almost to the end of the third round. And look at Leonard. Level, quick handed. There he comes back, or at least tries to. They had Mayweather in trouble. That was a slip. In his way, a slick cookie. Now he's taking it again on the rope and dope. Slick because he knows all the tricks on the inside and on the outside. He holds as if he can. He's been taught by the canny Hank. Oh, that was a good left that staggered Mayweather against the ropes in this round. Sugar Ray Leonard hasn't gotten to him like he was staggered. He was just off balance, not staggered. And let's go quickly to Bill Fleming date on NCAA football. Sugar Ray Leonard that we have seen in the past. Maybe it's because Floyd Mayweather knows how to fight. And almost a minute into... Threatening Sugar Ray was. It's good show, but not good fighting. Here, as they do in some jurisdictions. The sixth round. Not able to do it. Back to the rope a dope goes Mayweather, and he covers. Good, stinging left, finally, by. The end of the round with you, he'll tie you up, he'll thumb you, he'll elbow you. That was a good left. Quick flurry by Mayweather. To find space for his blows. He doesn't have the 
look of an alive fighter. Mayweather got in a good left again. Mayweather dancing. Leonard pursuing. Mayweather slipped a little. He was not staggered. Less than a half minute to go in the round. Leonard of each round. A good left caught Mayweather flush. Fifth to go. Mayweather whirling around. Leonard trying to finish him. Leonard having him hurt and in trouble. Now to Sugar Ray Leonard to... Matter of fact, he's supposed to fight in the Baltimore Civic Center October the 6th. Remember at the end of last round, Mayweather was in trouble. Now, as we come into the final minute of the round, sure enough, the pattern repeats. Sugar the dope moved to the side. And, oh, a good left that stunned Mayweather. Now he's in real There's the knockdown from the right. That left. And the Tory eight count. Mayweather tells referee Tabor he's fine. Now. Leonard feels in charge, pulls the shuffle. Now you're saying the Sugar Ray Leonard we've become accustomed to. I don't know if he'll call out. Watch this. There's the left. Leonard came up from the waist with that left. And that was, put, that was what put Mayweather in desperate trouble. And then that right was... Okay. I still don't know if he officially called out a knockdown or not. We're at the end of the round. No commercial. We'll stay with it. Sugar Ray, finally, went Mayweather first, and quickly, Leonard goes at him in the ninth round. Sugar Ray with the right again. Clear as you look at the clock winding down. Mayweather. 20 seconds left, and Sugar Ray looking again to finish him off. Pat and redundant. Round. It's been amazing how in the final minute of each of the last three rounds, Sugar Ray Leonard has really registered heavy punishment, but may well. Fight, I must say, it's Mayweather has been using the left jab. For Mayweather, it's been a spinning spiral. Now Sugar Ray measuring him. We've got a minute 10 left in the fight. And Ray would like to finish him off. He almost went down then from a left. The shuffle. Now the flurry combinations. Martin Tabor is giving him a standing eight count. Remember, we allow a standing eight count in Rhode Island under the rules. Wait, he stopped the fight. Let's look at the way it ended. Referee Marty Tabor receiving strong objection from manager Hank Groom. That left started it. That follow-up left had him somehow keeping his balance. Martin Tabor, the third man in the ring. The left. And then the right and the left. There was a quick shuffle in there. And Mayweather was a sitting duck, as he was in earlier rounds, in fact, in the final minute. Now Tabor goes in. He senses that Mayweather is in trouble and might suffer undue punishment. ...about his man. So Sugar Ray Leonard scores a technical knockout in the 10th round. 